What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today we're going to be talking about YCS Niagara and how it just ended. It's actually Sunday night so we just found out what the results were and Exo Sister won the event. Spoiler alert! Yes, that's what happened. So essentially in today's video, we're going to be talking about the implications of this event, things that can change or happen because of this event, but I'm going to break down the event just a little bit. But before we get into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. We're close to 7,000, but on top of that, I don't do these videos kind of often. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys like seeing these kind of videos. By the way, we upload five days a week here on Spanko, so make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned for all that good stuff. So let's get right into it right over here. We're starting off with the deck breakdown there isn't a pie chart or anything just yet i just want to show you guys that essentially it really ended up how everyone thought it was going to end up you have a bunch of tier a bunch of a lot of tier actually here so i think most of it was tier but there's a lot of sprite here as well so tier and sprite everyone thought that here and there you guys are going to see runic sprite I believe flu has one funny enough even math mech has one top here so there's a few of these kind of decks that just kind of got splashed in there there's actually two exo sisters ryan Yu from toronto but also raymond dai who he actually ended up being the winner of the entire event but funny enough this whole event the top 32 was all what we expected essentially tier and sprite tier and sprite couple flu and a bunch of other things now with that being said that's a really good thing because we know kind of where the meta is and funny enough mystic mind didn't actually take over this event as much as people expected it to because i think what happened was everyone expected mystic mind to be relevant so everyone played back row hate in their main deck or they were just ready for it now i don't know of course all of these people's main decks but people were ready for mystic mind and for that reason people probably said hey let's not play mystic mind because now everyone's going to be prepared for it so for that reason you don't see a lot of mystic mind stuff here however the thing that i want to point out more than anything even more than this math mech over here the thing that i want to point out is the exo sisters now exo sister actually ended up winning the event jesse came second i think christian Urena came third and dominic couch came fourth so shout out to them those guys are great players of course you actually see a lot of great names on this list over here a lot of great players but the reason i want to bring up raymond die specifically is because he's the winner and i'm not saying anything about the player I'm, I'm sure he's a great player i haven't met him personally but of course he deserves his victory However, this is what I wanted to talk about the implication of this, okay? Because you guys can see it's Sprite and Tier, which everyone expected. We also all know Tier and Sprite are probably not going to get hit on the ban list, but everyone's been talking about the ban list, and we've been talking about Mystic Mine and Scythe and potentially barrier statue dimension shifter now actually has to be a card that's brought up in that discussion now of course dimensional shifter has been a card that people talked about being potentially on the ban list and i will say that it's not one of those things that it's like people just completely forgot about but because of this event specifically and because of what i'm about to show you guys i think there's actually a really really high chance that dimensional shifter might get banned so first things first we're gonna go on christian uranus twitter here and we're gonna see shifter game one and two, what am I supposed to do? So this was in the top four, okay? So he made it to top four, and then he got shifted in both game one and in game two. Now, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, Urena, where is his name? Christian Urena, I'm pretty sure, was on tier. And yep, I was right. So Christian's right here. So it, he was on tier elements. So you can imagine playing tier elements, and you get dimensional shifter. Your, your whole thing is kind of dead. So at that point, if you're getting shifted game one, and game two, I can only imagine that it wasn't really a playable match for him, right? So Raymond over here with Exo Sisters probably had a really easy time. It was probably a breeze because once you open Dimension Shifter and especially against tier limits, they can't play. So now you're just being able to do whatever you want and he just has to sit there and watch. So that's one thing I want to talk about because now Raymond is in the finals after opening Shifter in both games one and games two against Christian Urena. And then what ended up happening is, of course, he's making the finals. Jesse made the finals as well. So now let's look at Jesse's Twitter and jesse tweets right here which is really nice that uh you know these guys are tweeting about their events because uh, we get more of an inside look right so here got smacked in the finals very mid hand and mills in game one and then shifter in game two so again i don't want to take away anything from raymond die the exo sister player of course he's a great player I'm, I'm sure he didn't open shifter the entire event you still have to make it that far right but the shifter is just so powerful because if you think about his last two rounds i'm assuming and i'm not 100 sure just yet but i'm assuming if he's talking about game one and game two only and christian was only talking about game one and game two only that means they both lost in two so the reason that's really important is because three out of four games 
Three out of the last four games Raymond had in this tournament, he opened D Shifter, which essentially turned off Jesse and Christian's decks. Jesse was also here on Danger Tier Element, so you can imagine if you're playing against the Tier Limit deck and you open Shifter, you're in a good spot. So again, that's kind of what I want to talk about, where it's not about Exosister itself, and I think it's cool that Exosister got the top. It actually got two tops here, which is really cool. But the thing is, is it just one of those things where his Dimensional Shifter just way too powerful in today's format? The thing is, I'll be honest with you, Dimensional Shifter, in my opinion, has its own built-in kind of like oh you can't actually use this card if anything's in the graveyard already so it's kind of like its own built-in nerf or balancing mechanism I should say the thing is with something like Exosister Exosister naturally has a good matchup against tier limits so that comboed off with shifter of course which pretty much shuts off tier limit boards it must be pretty hard you know for a tier limit like Jesse or Urena those kind of players to actually play through that so that being said let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about shifter do you guys think Think shifter should get banned don't get me wrong i know how powerful that card is but truthfully i really don't see konami doing anything to dimensional shifter even though that card is absolutely insane and absolutely broken trust me i understand we make i make fun of my friends all the time for being on shifter like they're funderies players shout out richard he's a flu player and he, i'm like oh you open shifter must be better i know we joke around about it but the thing is realistically in konami's eyes maybe they see it as hey we put in a built-in balancing mechanism to D-Shifter, and you know, the card is great. However, it's already balanced in itself. So maybe, let me know what you guys think. I'm not gonna tell you guys that it should be banned or it shouldn't be banned. I wanna hear you guys' opinions and everyone's thoughts first, because truthfully, I mean, I don't might be real. It's one of those things where, Exosister just already has a good matchup into tier to begin with, or on paper at least it does, right? Shifter just kind of pushes it to that next level. So maybe Exosister itself is just an underrated deck. I remember people played it and then a lot of people fell off of it and said, oh yeah, Exo is actually not as good as people thought it was. But uh, I mean, hey, it won a YCS. And to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure it has more YCS wins than both tier and sprite now of course that doesn't really mean anything we see how many sprite and tier players there are here like the entire event was sprite and tier literally out of the top 32 it was one two three four and i think there was one more flu player somewhere in here five there was five people in the entire top 32 if i'm not mistaken that were not playing sprite or tier even the sprite were like sprite runic here you guys see sprite live twin tier element sprite danger like we even see tier and sprite together so of course we are going to be honest with ourselves it's still a sprite and tier format it's not that exo sister is actually better but I, I don't know let me know what you guys think about this event the results of this event honestly like it could have gone either way let's be honest i mean yes he opened shifter three out of the four games sometimes that's just what Yu Gi Oh is so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below appreciate every single one of you like and subscribe if you guys haven't already this was a quick breakdown of the top 32 but i really just wanted to make the point and get it out there because i think it's a very important to for people to talk about potential shifter ban uh but will it get banned who knows what uh, who knows what konami thinks and the ban list hasn't come out yet for all we know it could come out after the megatons because if they do want to ban shifter right now would be a bad time it's getting reprinted in the megatons right so who knows what's gonna happen let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below that's Banko signing out peace